All right, everybody, welcome back to the Real Estate Talk Show, your source for all things real estate. Now, I have one of my favorite designers and one of my favorite ladies here with me in studio. So incredibly talented, but you know what? We're going to cover a lot. So first and foremost, who am I talking about? Well, I have here Jane Lockhart, and she, of course, is the author, award-winning interior designer, TV personality, which I love your show. (laughs) She has the show, which, of course, is Color Confidential, and that's on W Network, so within our parent company. And you can see that Wednesdays at 6.30. And did I miss anything? Because I know you do a heck of a lot more. But <laughs> no. Did we cover some of it? It's all good. All right. Well, mm-hmm. welcome to the program. Thank Thanks you for, for having time. me. All right. Now, let's also remind people that mm-hmm. you are a designer. Yes. And this is what you do. You yes. help people create fantastic spaces. So tell us a little bit more about your company. So my company is a small design firm. and um, She's being modest. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're very um, oriented to the client's needs. That's really, we're very custom. We don't have tons of clients. We have clients that we like and who like us back. We mm-hmm. feel that's an important relationship. Yeah. And we try to work with the same people over and over again because we learn their lives and we're, we're part of their lives. We're part of their Rolodex, if you will. Yeah. And um, we, we try to help them craft a space that reflects their personalities and their needs, but also captures beauty, relaxation, the things that they're looking for in life that the home offers people that not too many other places do. You know, what's interesting, Jane, is that you said that you, you, know, you have that Rolodex of people that mm-hmm. have been with you for a long time. Yeah. And so whether they bought their first home, now they've moved and upgraded maybe to a larger home. Mm-hmm. They've had families. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe now they're downsizing. But you follow them in that journey. So, That's right. And of course, our lives change. Mm-hmm. And as a result, our needs and wants you know, change dramatically as well. No different for a lot of realtors out there because, of course, when you service your clientele well, they not only will use you throughout their lifetime, but they highly recommend you to their children, Mm -hmm. you know, to their relatives, to their friends and family. And the same thing applies, of course, in the designer world, right? Very much so. I mean, designers are an interesting breed as a category because they're required to be have an aesthetic sense, obviously, which is what I think everyone thinks they're hiring. But in a lot of ways, designers are excellent thinkers um, because of who they are. Usually with people who go into the creative fields and they're also very good um, social scientists in the sense that they (laughs) tend to have really good observations. They just don't always share them. But that's really what you get when you hire a designer. They're they're really looking at how people live, not just what they live with. And the questions you're asking, there's a legitimate reason why you're asking them. Absolutely, that's right. I have to add another one to that if you don't mind. I have Mm -hmm. to say every designer I've met have incredible personalities. They're just social <laughs> beings. I have yet to meet one. I mean, I can say, unfortunately, realtors out there, I love you all. But honestly, sometimes, you know, it could be a bad day. But I can't <laughs> say that all have winning personalities. I can honestly say I've yet to meet a designer that I have not just absolutely been blown away by in well, terms of their are, persona. You are very kind. Um, I wouldn't think of myself as a big personality in any way. I'm, you're a riot. You're fun. You're outgoing, engaging. No, I'm very, thank you. I'm a, I'm a more of a researcher, part-time loner. Um <laughs> <laughs> because I need time to process. And maybe right. that's the creative side. But mm-hmm. I work with lots of designers, I, yeah. I must say, who are who are wonderful personalities. And uh, I, I feel honored to get the opportunity to, to spend time well, with them. Well, I got to tell you, Jane, if mm-hmm. you didn't have a winning personality, your shows would not have been so successful and your <laughs> career you. would not be where it is today. Thank you. Just saying. <laughs> You're very, very kind. Thank you. All right. Well, let's talk mm-hmm. about something that, yes. honestly, you knew I'm going to hit you with. Yes. Because we're in 2015. Yeah. So what's the color of the year? So a new year means a new color. And... And uh, this is a great controversy every year now <laughs> because a company called Pantone, um, who a lot of people know if they're in the print industry, uh, Pantone is a color ink, if you will, producer. And what they've become over the last uh, number of years is they're also color forecasters, which means they like to look at what the marketplace is doing and find colors that represent what they feel the market is moving towards. Right. So the color no is pressure. Here. No, no. Um, <laughs> they're very good at it because they're generic in that they don't make a specific product. They make color for other products. Oh, okay. um, And so they're not trying to sell you a product in a certain color. Um, But what's interesting about them this year is the color for 2015 is called Marsala. Now, the first time I heard that, I'm like, ooh, chicken Marsala. That sounds fantastic. (laughs) Um, But that's actually not the color. (laughs) Um, The color is a deep wine burgundy. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so it's not going to appeal to everybody. No, because anyone who lived during the 80s mm-hmm. um, is going to be like, well, that's just burgundy. I'm sorry, but call it whatever you want. But I've been through that and I am been not there, interested. Done that. That's correct. <laughs> but for lots of people who've never experienced jewel tones, they're very excited. 
Unbelievable. So there is a whole process to coming up with this. So yes. as a designer, do you all of a sudden expect to get people saying, now I want that Marcella because it says that no. it's that color that is dictated to be the one for 2015? <laughs> okay, depends who I'm talking to. Um, if, if people are uh, a little bit younger, they are sometimes a little bit more open to it. And that's not an, an age thing. It's just if people get more practical as they get older in some ways, <laughs> not in all ways. And uh but what it does is it puts it on people's radar to start thinking about context mm. of color. All right. Well, we're going to continue there because, Jane, when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about color fabric and pattern trends for 2015. So everybody, you want to stick around, come back so we can talk more with Jane Lockhart. But remember, if you have real estate questions or if you have something for Jane, we will make sure that we get them to her. And, of course, she'll answer them directly. So you want to reach out to us, visit realestatetalkshow.ca or you can call our help desk. We actually do answer. It's toll free. That's 844-ASK-RETS. That's 844-ASK-RETS. Ask R-E-T-S. We'll be right back.